you'll be swell. I can tell. Da 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 do 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 do. Dim the lights. Grab your kite. <laughs> Everything's coming up roses for me and for you. Happy Sunday, guys. You know, there's a lot of you out there that like to uh, do antiquing. You like to do thrifting. You like to get your paws on something really cool and unusual. Well, how about probably one of the top one of the top three baseball players of all time what if you had a chance to buy his dentures <laughs> grab a coffee and let's commence to bullshit and it's time to get down to it Woo, broadway rosie does this make my <laughs> it is Sunday morning, guys. Happy Sunday to you. After really a fun weekend of content and everything else. Yeah, can you believe it? That they are auctioning, some auction houses, auctioning off Ty Cobb. Now, if you don't know who Ty Cobb was, he still has the highest batting average in uh, Major League Baseball history. Quite a feat. And how in the hell somebody came across his dentures and then connected, one day this is going to be worth a shitload of money. Is a person I want to meet in life to be my financial advisor. Because if you think I want to put and have on my shelf somebody's dentures, Ty Cobb, or whatever the hell, man, let's check your sports memorabilia. Oh, that's cool. You got to sign Babe Ruth baseball shit. Babe Ruth bat signed, you know, Babe Ruth's home in Baltimore. You, uh, what, what the fuck is this? Hey. Hey Fred, did your grandma leave her dentures? <laughs> did your grandma leave her dentures? Dentures on your sports memorabilia shelf? Yeah, man, that's Ty Cobb's dentures. <laughs> what the hell does that have to do with baseball? Oh man, you're just not with it. It's just all, all this beauty is just lost on you, really. And the really kooky thing is they're already up to $12,000 or something like that. Man, what about the guy's jockstrap? What the hell would that be worth? Uh, I just don't know. But it was a good um, weekend. We had a lot of fun in Petaluma last night. And if you have not seen that video, sometimes you catch lightning in a bottle. Meaning that you could go down there 50 times, 100 times like I have on the channel. And it's never going to be uh, as good as probably it was last night. We had a great street scene out there. The skies were beautiful. The river, just the whole ambiance. We had a, uh, several musicians out there. And I think to myself, oh. Why did I ever leave Petaluma and <laughs> move up to Santa Rosa? Because we could never do cool stuff like that. And that is a fact. But if you haven't checked that out, check that out. It was a good, good, good time. Uh, today we've got, well, what else did we do? We had the cemetery. Now, it took like 12 hours to reprocess that uh, that stream because we had a Patti LaBelle uh, song in there, which is evidently a no-no, but that's live. And that was a really wild night at the cemetery on Friday night because the crows were agitated. That gets it. There was people sacrificing either a chicken or Popeye's chicken up to the... I don't know what the hell they were doing on the ground. I didn't want to get close enough. You got a lot of, well, freaks and cows. <laughs> It is California. You don't want to be close enough or they might turn around with that heater and say, you know what, you're just in time. We've been waiting for you. Take off your clothes and uh, let's let's get it on with the sacrifice here at the cemetery. Really, really, really uh, weird stuff over there that night. And I was glad to get out of there. I mean, I just said, I, I thought I had a black widow jump on me and we had a really big fat Juicy. I mean, this this thing was like, uh, what would you say? This was this was the collector's edition. <laughs> it was big and fat and juicy, 
And I thought to myself, man, are you beautiful, but boy, could you pack a wallop if you were to cut loose. And then the uh, sports betting too, but I just can't get over this stuff that people lightly connect to uh, sports bets. I'm sweating like a pig today because it's humid as hell because we got this thing coming up from uh, the south, this twisty, whatever the hell you call hurricane or typhoon, whatever the hell it is coming up from um, Mexico. But it's just strange to me that uh, people would find that stuff highly collectible. And uh, Why don't you send it up to uh, Cooperstown, the Baseball Hall of Fame, and they might do a special with Ty Cobb uh, collection built around the choppers. <laughs> <laughs> Lord save me. And then um, tonight we've got, um, Bobby's going to be coming over. I'm going to be doing some, I um, think some hack job chili, but man, it is so humid today. I don't know. I haven't felt like cooking the last couple uh, nights because we've had content galore. And if you've not seen the vintage audio, check it out. Uh, good metal detecting from last weekend. I think some more metal detecting is going to come up. And then later tonight, Vegas Rosie shall return for an encore. And I was very pleased in that short hangout, the number of people that uh, watched that, uh, talking about the uh, football season coming up and uh, foreshadowing my uh, picks for the weekend, which uh, for Saturday, which was a good day. And then uh, we'll be talking about that later tonight. I will be ranting. I got I got uh, teams that I've put a circle around that you want to be aware of. Teams that I think uh, deserve some special attention and might provide some good betting opportunities and some teams that'll probably take your money right down the shitter <laughs> with, with you along for the ride there. So be careful of uh, that too. So check that out tonight. That'll be after, uh, probably around nine o'clock or so. That'll be after our regular um, uh, hangout at Rancho Kitchen Stadium tonight. Damn, man. And then uh, don't forget Thursday night, we'll go over what's the preview of what's coming up for the next week. I'll also be checking out some of the NFL uh, games and giving you some of my ideas because, well, I'm, I'm an old bat, and it's likely I've seen it all in football. And, well, you may gain something from um, my observations because I got some very unusual ones on the weekend. I'm not going to disclose my betting edges. I have two or three of them, but I'm going to give you some food for thought about uh, things that don't really get disclosed in all these people that harvest statistics and put these computer models together. A couple factors I think are very underappreciated when it comes to um, sports betting. So I'm going to I'm gonna be ranting, of course. I'm going to be cutting loose on coaches. You know damn well. Scott Frost, I'm coming for you, man, in Nebraska there. <laughs> Notre Dame, I'm coming for you, man, with that cool quarterback. Anyway, I'm going to close it out, guys, and wish you a uh, wonderful morning. It will be music night tonight. It's a great way to support the channel, uh, to play a uh, song and showcase your musical taste. Uh, we have a blast on Friday and Sunday night. So with that, I'm going to close it out and wish you a rosy shake, a wonderful day. Thumbs up or appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button because, well, I think I do some pretty cool and fun stuff on the channel. And I think that you'll agree. Thanks, everybody.